Hello there, everybody. Dodgy Gamer here, bringing you another international database, this time a recreation of the forthcoming Euro 2020 tournament. But before we get into it, just a quick reminder that this is your one stop shop for all things international management on FM. We've got guides, we've got databases, we've got Let's Plays, and now we've got a real groups mod for the Euros as well. So if that sounds like your kind of thing, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, get notified to keep up with the international action. So Euro 2020 is finally upon us a year late, but never mind. And you may be thinking, I fancy having a crack at winning the Euros with a nation of my choice. However, load up FM 21, holiday through to May, June, and what do you see? We've got teams here in the wrong group. I mean, England in a group with Wales. And look at this, Bosnia, Iceland, Serbia, who didn't even qualify. No Scotland. What's going on? And then you remember, of course, that your game started in 2020. The game has simulated the playoffs, simulated the draw, and come up with something completely different. Plus, I think SI don't have the license for this one. So that's why I've made a mod in the FM21 editor to recreate the Euros as closely as possible. Uh, the links are in the description. I'm making three files available. Two save files that you can load into your game, and which will begin just before the squad announcement date, and also the editor data file itself, in case you want to set your own game up. I've also created a wheel of names for all the participating nations, in case you can't decide which one to pick. Link again? In the description. Now a few points before we go further. You may have seen Moz's Euro database or indeed work the spaces video on it. Just want to say this is not the same file. Moz and I we both began working on ours independently at around the same time. Great minds, eh? Now, I did approach Moz when I was having an issue with seedings for the knockout rounds and he kindly let me have a look at his database. And there are, there are some differences though between our files, which I'll get into shortly. And secondly, I would only recommend using this mod to play the Euro 2020 tournament. I wouldn't use it as part of a long-term career. Why? Well, in order to recreate the tournament, I basically had to get rid of the qualifying and get rid of the Nations League so that the correct teams could be put in the groups. And that means if you were to play long term, you would just get the Euros repeating itself in exactly this format every four years. So yeah, I would say just use this mod to play through the Euros. So what is realistic about this particular mod? Well, first of all, we've got the, all the correct teams qualified, all 24 nations and all in the correct groups. So as you scroll down, you'll see Group D, for example, we've got England, Croatia, Czech Republic, and Scotland all in there together. Going down to Group F, France, Germany, and Portugal are all in the same group with poor old Hungary. And we have the top two teams from each group, plus the four best third place teams qualifying for the knockout rounds. We've got the 26 man squads, we've got the five from 12 substitute rule all in place as well. We've also got all the venues being used across the game, so Amsterdam Arena, Puskas Arena, Parken, they're all here, and I have set this up so that the semi-finals and the final itself will be played at Wembley. So if you want to lead your team to glory and have them picking up that trophy at Wembley Stadium on the 11th of July, that's exactly what you can do. Now there are a couple of things that are not 100% accurate in this mod. In the group stages, for example, one issue with the game is every time you set the game up, the game will randomize the order of matches in the group stage. So here, for example, we can see England's fixtures. They played Czech Republic at Wembley, but they played Scotland at Hampden Park, which of course in real life, they're gonna play all of their group games at Wembley. However, each group will have the correct stadium. So it is Hampden Park and Wembley for Group D. It's the Olympico in Rome and the Olympic Stadium in Baku in Group A and so on. One other small issue, in getting these venues right, for some reason it stops the final two matches from being played at the same time. You will find that the final two matches are spread out. I don't know why that happens. It only happened when I applied the rules to get the stadiums correct for each group. If I don't do that, if I just let it choose random European stadiums, then 
the fixtures take place at the same time. So just a minor thing, but something to be aware of. Now, as I said earlier, I'm making three files available for your Euro experience. So the first one I'm calling Euro 2020 Lite. So to set this one up, all I did was I loaded one league, Finland. Why Finland? Because there's a start date uh, sometime in May, so it's quick to holiday through to the Euros. I loaded all international players in Europe, so all 24 teams should have their full selection of regular national pool players available to them. So all you would need to do is download this file, drop it into your save game folder, uh, and then load the game from here. Then all you'll have to do is just retire my manager, bye bye, and then add a new manager. Then you just set up your profile as normal. And then from here, you choose the national team you want to take charge of. Just remember to pick one that is actually in the tournament. So you'll find the game will start on 22nd of May and the squad selection date is actually the 23rd of May. So it's just one day and then you get to announce your squad. Now the other save file available is called Euro 2020 Full. In this version, I didn't just load all the international players, I loaded all 24 leagues of the nations taking part, including North Macedonia. So that way, if there are any hidden gem lower league wonder kid talents that you know about that you want to call up, you can do that. And finally, there is the Euro mod file itself, which you can download from Steam or Mediafire. The links, of course, in the description. And you set your game up in the usual way. If you want some help with that, check out one of my previous videos, which was a guide to installing add-on leagues and competitions in the editor. And finally, what if you're struggling? To choose your team. And so I've created a wheel of names that will make that decision for you. The link's down in the description. Spin the wheel and embrace the randomness of managing a perennial favourite like Spain, managing an outside chancer like Croatia, or managing a complete unknown quantity like North Macedonia. But please do let me know what you think of the file if you download it and use it. Your feedback is always appreciated. I'll be back soon with more details on another summer tournament that I've recreated in the editor, and also my plans for a few challenges I'm going to attempt to put a little twist on playing through the Euros on my channel. So make sure you subscribe to Dodgy Gamer, drop a like, get that notification bell on so you don't miss any of the international action. And thank you very much for watching. I'm Dodgy Gamer. See you at the Euros.